All right, good evening, everyone. Do, 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 do. 2016 high tech Star Wars in the house, folks. Uh, this is pretty much a personal box break for everybody, except we just randomize your names and we randomize box numbers. And we see what happens. Big thanks to these folks right here for getting in on the action. Once I open the case and number the boxes, we'll randomize names, randomize the numbers, and then we match you together with your personal box. We've got another case of this stuff on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So uh, go for it. Now let me get the case of Star Wars on the screen. There it is. Let's bust this open and number the boxes. Oh, the, they were in dark colored boxes last year. Now they're in Stormtrooper white boxes this year. What? Yeah, remember how they were in black last year? Stormtrooper white. I, I just made up that color. Remember how Dodge like had those Stormtrooper cars? You, you, you remember that? Dodge had like Stormtrooper cars. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, the special yeah. edition stormtrooper cars. So you're gonna like right. broke open all the boxes, or you're gonna round them? Gonna in? Number them oh. first. One, two, three. That's three, four, five, six. So one's kind of off camera, but there it is. One and two, right there. Nope. That's, I, I wrote a three there again for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, that's ten. That's eleven. I'm having a hard time with this. And twelve. All right. So there's my seven. I don't know why I started writing three there, but it's seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. So there you go. So now that these are properly numbered, now we can go back to this page right here, one through 12. Now we'll match you up with a box. This is like, like Star Wars eHarmony. We're matching up with the box. Rolling the dice or match.com. Three and a four, seven times. I haven't Um, Yeah, seven times. One, two, Three, four, five, hey, hey, six, on, and seventh and final time. Copy that there. And then three and a four, seven times for the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go. Nine down to ten. All right, and here's how it all shakes out, boys and girls. Um, I will pause the video because some people might want to trade boxes. You might have a favorite a favorite number or something like that, but, you know, let me know. Trevor, you have box nine. Bowman, 12 and six. Robbie with four. Curtis with two. Bowman with five. Curtis with eight. Bowman with seven. David with one. Bowman with three and 11. And Robbie with last spot. Mojo in the last spot, 10. Box 10 right there. So there you go. We're going to pause the video, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any uh, trades, and then we'll go from there. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, so I've alphabet alphabetized them by the, uh, by the names right here, so we'll go alphabetically. So here on the 14th, Good luck, everybody. Now, this is not a Jaspie's holiday season extravaganza break. Jackson wants to know how it qualifies. I'll tell you after this break. Stick around. Okay, so Bowman first. So Bowman has box 12. Box 6. Box 5. 7. And three. There's three. And box 11. 
box 11 right there. There you go. Thank you, Bowman. Appreciate it. Good luck, sir. All right, we got an order in. Ryan, All right now we'll go... Uh, I guess we'll go with three. Oh, so here's the front of the box. Looks pretty cool. Guaranteed auto in each box. The, there are the odds right there. Good luck, everybody. All right, one auto per box. Good luck, Bowman. He's got to be rewarded for getting all these boxes here. All right, we're going to start off with uh, Captain Panica, head of security. I don't know how secure he was. I don't know. They did get overrun. There you go. There's Tugs. And Log Ray. Look at this little guy. Now there's a bunch of, there's a variation guide and all that sort of stuff that'll tell you which one of these are short printed. I'll drop those into the chat after the break. And nice. Uh, Jin Dralig, that's 26 out of 99. Jedi Master. There it is, no stats on the back. And your autograph is Aurora Singh. Oh, you actually know? You watch Krillin? Nice. Uh, that's Michonne uh, Borg Borgal. And that is also a number. That card is gold. Three out of 50. Nice start. What does it represent? Bounty hunters. Scum is what they are, those bounty hunters. All right, thanks, Ryan. He gets three spots in there. All right, and your other cards, Bowman. Unduli. Princess Leia Organa from, uh, this has got to be from Clone War? No, Rebels, maybe? Rebel Sympathizer, apparently. And there's that guy from, uh, oh yeah, Boba Joe. A resident of Jakku. They actually, uh, in The Force Awakens, they actually, they actually built him in real life it wasn't cgi it was an actual thing that a guy controlled and he would walk around with like the big backpack and everything all right next box bowman and then we'll go with curtis next all right ah the one on bib fortuna We've got a die cut sliding out of here. There it is. Yeah, these new die cuts are pretty cool. Armor Tech. A Death Gang Enforcer. 9 out of 50 as well. Numbered. Uh, Lieutenant Bastion, a Resistance Fighter Pilot. And we've got... Nice. Ayala Sakura. Blue. That is 74 out of 99. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Banda Bundu on the solo. 33 out of 75. Dave Barkley. Puppeteer. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Remember how this this, this guy, no, no, this guy, the Hut's a gangsters. He says this. I'm pretty sure. When they're like, oh yeah, you know, we'll have to stop on Tatooine. Looks like it's run by Huts. Like this guy. And this guy's like, hey, the Hut's a gangsters. Is what he says. Naboo security. What good has he done? You know? They all got kidnapped. Their planet got invaded. That one ship blew up at a spaceport nonetheless. I don't know why he still keeps getting a job. There's Bail Organa, so there's you can you can see the two variations right there already. Where's the, I need a blank card. So you can see that pattern in the background there and that pattern in the background there. One of those might be short printed. 
Obviously, these are personal boxes, so we're shipping everybody that. And another Chancellor right there. I don't know why I'm quoting prequel stuff. I apologize. All right, so that die cut was numbered as well. It's pretty cool. All right, next one for Bowman. Um, Bowman's wondering how many patterns there are. You know what? I'll drop the link to the pattern guide that I found on CardboardConnection.com. I don't know. I, I know. I actively watched Revenge of the Sith the other night. But I, that was sort of my Rogue One prep. All right. So I just dropped in the chat from CardboardConnection.com, the Star Wars, uh, the high-tech Star Wars par uh, pattern guide. Right there. All right. There's Supreme Leader Snoke. There's uh, Kanan Yaris, a rebel agent, who is in the Star Wars Rebels uh, animated series, which is quite good. Hey, there's BB-8. Looks like some sort of uh, some sort of refracting going on there. That might be something good there. And Wolovan, and that is 65 out of 99. Nice blue parallel. An Interstellar Scout. And your autograph is Lieutenant Mitaka. Yeah, okay, so look at let me see it. And there that's the actor right there, Sebastian Armesto. A first order officer. Alright. So you got I'll call another another good droid right here. There's C three PO. Goes along with that BB eight. There's Greedo. On a do solo. <laughs> nice. Bowman's wondering why do all these dudes look like they are based off of fish? Uh, because water generally sustains life in most planets. So that's why it makes sense that evolutionary wise, a lot of them may end up looking like water creatures. <laughs> that's my that's my answer. I'm sticking to it. All right, next box. There's Grand Moff Tarkin. Supreme Leader Snoke. And we got some gold. That card is gold. 20 out of 50. Alo Asti, a resistance fighter, a fighter pilot. We've got Aurora Singh, blue. That is out of 99. Nice. And look at this. Orange Magma autograph. That's Oppo Rancisis. Or Rancisis. Right there. Nice. 25 out of 25. Nice autograph. That's Jerome Blake. Nice. And speaking of Fish looking carrot. Yeah, it's a trap! I don't know what's going on there. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before, Jimmy. But I looked into uh, the song. It's a trap! There's an R4 left and it doesn't look like a. Uh... And then there's. Ah! Guavian Death Gang Enforcer. So sorry about that, man. I don't know what to do. Nice. So that was a nice box. So got a couple nice parallels in here. Two more boxes for Bowman, 11 and 12. And then we'll go with Curtis's two and eight, David's one, Robbie's four and 10, and we'll close out with Trevor's nine. Ah, Mon Mothra, many Bothans died. We've got uh, Yasko Furus, Pirate. 
Got some gold going on. Balatik, the Guavian leader. Han Solo. <laughs> Apparently gained a, that's 40 out of 50. Getting a Scottish accent in space somewhere. And Ayala Sakura, Jedi Knight. And your autograph is, ah, Masamita. He was the vice chair of the Senate. We saw him. We saw him there. So this is how Liberty dies with thunderous applause. All right, we've got Constable Azu Azuvio, militia leader. Love these guys. Part of job is security. And Luke Skywalker. Luke, use the force, Luke. Nice, nice. All right. Right, that is Jim, right? <laughs> Because it was just job and security. We just called him Jim. All right, last box, Bowman. Good luck, man. Very solid stuff. Let's see what we got out of here. Uh huh. That, that's my bad Chewbacca impression. Uh, there's Chewbacca. There's Darth Vader, looking menacing. There's Claw Two. That is fifty out of ninety-nine. Which is the name of an old school band from like the 60s or 70s. But Skiff Guard right there. Nice. Daisy Ridley as Ray. And from the animated series, we've got Princess Leia Organa. Julie Dolan as the voice right there. Excellent. And then... This is a kid, a Padawan, who probably got killed. Order 66, dead. A uh, Dengar, a bounty hunter, and a First Order Stormtrooper. The back of what, Curtis? The Ray? You think it's a short print? How can we tell? Oh, this is from the Starkiller base duel as well. Ah, yeah, 75C. SW75C. Nice, there you go. So a nice Daisy Ridley short print. Another big hit, says Curtis. Nice, so there you go, Bowman. Nicely done. Thanks for grabbing all those boxes. All right, and thank you very much, sir. Bowman grabbing a lot of those great boxes, helping us see this break. Really appreciate that. Curtis was also helping, too. He's got box two, and Curtis is box eight. There you go, as we saw in the previous screen right here. Two and eight. David, you're next. Yeah, one of those short prints did sell for a lot. We'll look some of these up uh, after afterwards, just so we can all see, because we want to try to move another case of this too. All right, so now let's see what Curtis has. Curtis has been waiting a long time for this. A little orange peeking out, you see that? We've got Wedge Antilles. Oh! This is this is a uh, this is a character Curtis actually PCs, Qui Gold, pirate co-pilot. We've got Finn, and your orange is a First Order riot control stormtrooper traitor. Three out of twenty-five orange magma. Nice. And we've got Axe Mo, 
that's Mark Silk. In there, nice, nice autograph. Is that Finn short printed? No, that says 87, I'm afraid. Not short printed. Now I have to look on the backs of all of these, maybe? All right, so that's nice. Especially that first order Stormtrooper, very solid. It's a trap! Admiral Akbar. Many Bothans died. And adorable BB-8. Still tempted to get a remote-controlled BB-8 for the holidays, but I'm not going to try to spend that kind of money. Okay, so... Because <laughs> I don't need one of those. Do I? All right. Huh? Does it have to have a letter? It's a trap! And Salacious Crumb! <laughs> ah, this guy. 7 out of 50 on the Salacious Crumb. Plo Koon uh, is 38 out of 99. Nice one of the Jedi Master. And your autograph is... Uh, is Oppo Rankisis. Jerome Blake. That's your auto. And along with Boba Joe. Love that guy. Oh, yeah. Ton Wee from Camino. These guys. I don't know about these guys, right? A little shady. Oh, yeah, sure. You're just an administrative aide. <laughs> sure. And... Wolivan, administrative aid. That's lies. You know that. You know she was in on it. The whole building of the clone army and all that. It's a big conspiracy. All right. So nice two boxes for you, Curtis. Thank you very much for getting in on this. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get a, uh, a personal box of this, we have it available jazbeeshobbyland.com check it out we got another case of this all right next one up is box one david good luck cursing we have not seen a pattern four or five as of yet We're going to start off with Bale Organa. We've got Jim right here, Java Security. Boba Joe, one of the more memorable, character, memorable characters in The Force Awakens. And, ooh, a green edition right here. Ton Wee. And that is out of 10. Nice. Five out of ten. Jersey number. It's not. Ooh, nice. This is cool. Ahsoka Tano. Magma. Nice. That's 25 out of 25. And that's Ashley Eckstein. That's David Eckstein's wife. The baseball player. And is there a bonus auto? Oh, I guess he had a lot of these. Another Jerome Blake autograph out of there. But the Ahsoka Tano is the big one out of here. Ashley Eckstein. She does a great job. Yeah, she, you're right, Curtis. She, she does sign her character's name there, too. All right. Sarko Plunk. Qui-Gon Jinn. Who, uh, who knows about the Cosmic Force. And Groomgar. That's how Qui-Gon Jinn knows how to be a ghost. He taught Yoda how to be a ghost. And I think Yoda had to have taught Obi-Wan how to be a ghost. And I guess they taught Anakin to be a ghost too? This feels like a lot of work to be a force ghost. All right, David. Nice break. Nice box for you, man. 
Okay, Robbie, you're next. Four, box four and ten. There you go. So we got David's box one, and there's box four and ten for Robbie. All right, good luck, Robbie. Captain Phasma. Grand Marv Tarkin. Poe Dameron. Nice. He's a pretty good pilot. And we've got a Colonel Datu. 22 out of 50. That card is gold. We still have two boxes there? Yeah. All right, that's fine. And our autograph is Lieutenant Bastion. Resistance pilot. 60 out of 59. Sorry, 59 out of 70. Why did I round up? 59 out of 75. Nice blue auto there. Oh, there's some short prints of Poe as well. Now, this is SW100. Curtis was saying uh, anything on the... We're shipping you guys everything, so look on the back for short prints. Curtis was saying uh, uh, out of 75, I guess SW75, A, B, and C. There'll be lettering next to it, too. Plo Koon. It's a trap! Admiral Akbar. And a Guavian Death Gang Enforcer. A lot, a lot of jobs in Star Wars as Enforcers. Alright, box 10 for Robbie. Good luck, man. Roger, Roger. Battle Droid. General Hux, pretty intense dude. Ah, there's Sabine. A rebel agent. She works with uh, Ezra. There's a... No? No, I still don't got it. I got to work on that. 82 out of 99. Chewbacca. Your autograph is Handmaiden. There you go. Uh, this is Christina Da Silva. And it's number 34 out of 50. This is one of uh, Natalie Portman's handmaidens. All right. And we've got Salacious Crom. <laughs> Count Dooku. Who lost his head. There's Kylo Ren. And the Christina Da Silva auto, Curtis is saying she's a first-time signer. So her cards have done pretty decently on a secondary market. Nice. So there you go, Robbie. Some additional info there from Curtis. All right. Thanks, Robbie. And one box to go, and that would be box number nine for Trevor. Thanks for your patience, Trev. We finally got to you. Box nine. Good luck. No one knew. Nobody. Think about it. This dude was under the noses of an entire Jedi Council, a bunch of smart dudes, right? All sorts of, like, you know, senators from the Republic all over the place did not do this guy. Didn't know. Didn't know that a Sith Master was puppeteering the whole Empire, leaving us with nine movies on Star Wars. That's my, that's my serious impression. <laughs> All right. There's Kylo Ren, who has anger management issues. He's got to work that out. There's Unduli, a Jedi Master. Got a gold Dengar. 16 out of 50. And look at this. 
Wow. Mark Hamill, one of one. Woo! Use the force, Luke. One of one, printing plate proof, and Mark Hamill's autograph for Trevor. Wow. That is amazing. What a hit for Trevor. That's a one of one, Trevor. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Tarful is what we close out with. Jindralig and Yasko Furis. Wow. Wonderful hit, Trevor. And a great case, folks. So that's a good start. We've got one more of these, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make it happen. It's high-tech Star Wars. We did a bunch of these last year. I'd be happy to do more this year. We've got another case. Should be a lot of fun. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time. This is Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. May the force be with you.